I have been using the Gitzo GT3543 LS as my main tripod for nature photography in general, so landscapes, macro photography, and especially bird photography, coupled with the Flex Shooter Pro tripod head. And I'm quite happy with the combination, but I was looking for a second tripod, for something to film myself if I'm handling the big tripod, or just if I want to go on hikes, for a macro shooting, landscapes, something that is a bit more lightweight and doesn't necessarily need to carry my 600 mm prime, but a bit smaller lenses. And I decided to go with the Gitzo GT 2500-45T. So it's a Traveler series tripod, so it's built for the lightweight. And on top I have the Novoflex Classic Ball 2. So in this video I want to present a bit this uh, combination and give you my first impression after several trips where I have been using it. Since this tripod was not supposed to hold my big 600mm lens, the, one of the most important aspects was that it was lightweight. And while my other tripod is around 2 kg heavy, this one is 1.34, so significantly lighter. And it also packs down quite small. I mean, this is like uh, 45 centimeters more or less. Even though this is not the smallest position, the smallest position, so the 45 centimeters, you get them if you turn. Um, the tripod legs around like I'm doing now and then uh, loosen the middle center column of the tripod and this is basically the smallest setup you will get. Um, for me that's not a big deal, I mean I usually don't do it like this if I just attach it to the to my backpack, the backpack is big enough anyway way, so I don't care but if you somehow need to f make it smaller that's a nice way. And the second thing that was important to me was that it's still tall enough because for landscape photography sometimes I prefer a bit of higher perspective, sometimes a lower one, so I want to have kind of all the options. And if you extend the center column here, you get a height of about 1 meter 55 centimeters. If you also consider the ball height, you get to 165. That's at least for me a nice working height in most of the situation. Um, if you're in landscape photography and for some reason the ground is kind of uneven, you already see you lose some height. What I sometimes do here is just make the legs here a bit more, um, put them a bit closer together. Um, of course you lose some stability, but if you don't walk away I think that's okay-ish. And then you get a bit few more centimeters, so I have used that in the past. And speaking of the legs, maybe one important thing is that you only have two positions. You have this kind of open position, and then if I change it here, I have the basically flat position. And as I have showed you before, the one more is the complete reverse. You don't want to do this in the field. So in the beginning, I was not sure if this is really what I want, because I thought the three positions I'm used to for my other tripod give me more flexibility. But to be honest, in the end, if you, in the landscape photography anyway, you sometimes need to put it on a rock. So, and in weird positions anyway. So what I was then just doing is to even find an intermediate state. I found that this works quite stable. And overall the tripod, it's the Gitzo carbon fiber. that is well, quite well known. Of course, a bit thinner than my um, three series tripod, but still, even if I put some pressure here, I feel it's quite sturdy and certainly enough to hold my um, 14 to 35 or 100 to 500 millimeter lens. Um, the center column was also something I was not completely convinced about in the beginning because sometimes I prefer to go low. Um, even though then I was thinking for landscape photography, I usually don't go that low as for bird photography, for example. And there is there are two options basically how you can get lower. Uh, one of them is that you can actually take out the center column and reverse it. So you loosen the, the head with this small plate that is below from the tripod. And then you can just remove the center column um, and put it basically the opposite way. And then attach the ball head from the bottom. Um, 
I have not used this so far. First of all, there was no need and it's still a bit cumbersome. I don't look like to shoot like between the tripod legs. I feel I don't have so much flexibility. So that's one option if you really need it. But there is also a second option. Gitzo provides like a tiny center column that fits just in here. So that one is basically replacing then the big one. You can just keep this in your backpack all the time. And when you want to get low, you can get quite low even though it's not as flat as with the systematic series because you already see you still have it a bit higher here so I think compared to a systematic ser series you're about 10 centimeters higher. So a few words to the ball head like I said they have the Novaflex classic ball too because I wanted something that is as light as possible and that's just weighing around 315 grams plus of course the quick mount plate that you have here. I chose an Arca Swiss with a turning knob and the ball head itself, so far I'm quite happy with it. It goes quite smoothly and once you tighten it, it I feel that it's not like having this, well, the thing with cheap ball head that the image changes a bit. This one feels quite good here. And here you have for the friction control basically um, five different settings. You can even further adjust them if you unscrew this part, you can adjust this. But I find this quite cool because you don't need to think, ah, I need more friction, I need less. I just know for my R5 with the 14 to 35 lens, for example, I prefer the preset number three. Um, then I can just keep it there. And when I take the 100 to 500, I might want to switch to the 5. If I just have my 50 millimeter 1.8, I might go to the 2. So that's kind of a nice thing. And also there's a security mechanism. If the knob is loose, I cannot change the friction. So only if the knob is tightened, I can change this. Um, on top, as you might have seen, um, there are these kind of holes for shooting uh, vertically. I still prefer to have an L bracket, but it's nice to have if you don't have an L bracket for uh, vertical shooting. And if you want to take pictures of the night sky or something, I think this is crucial. So I would never buy a tripod head that doesn't have this function. And down here you have a further knob. So just for the panorama function of the head, you could also turn the uh, mount the head like opposite side, and then you can basically flatten out the whole thing and then use the panorama function. But so far I have just not done that. So overall, I'm quite happy with the combination. Um, it's very sturdy, tall enough, and it weighs just under 1.8 kilograms, which is for me fairly light to take on a backpack. And I would be curious what tripod and what tripod head are you using for landscape photography? And would you also be interested in maybe some cheaper alternatives? Even though I'm quite happy I invested the money, it was around 1,100 Swiss francs, which is around $1,200, I think. But for me, yeah, that was kind of worth it if I th think of it as a long-term investment. Gitzo is giving seven years of um, warranty, Novaflex only two to my knowledge, but I still hope this will last way longer. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.